Thailand loses millions of tonnes of soil to erosion every year, precious nutrients and water gone in an instant. But what if you could stop that loss and turn your land into a water holding powerhouse? Swales do exactly that, capturing rain, preventing erosion and restoring soil health. I spent nearly four years building a self-sustaining farm, testing what really works and what doesn't. Let me show you how swales can transform your land too. Guys, a very big welcome back to the channel. We've just had our first massive rainfall of 2025, completely unexpectedly. Uh, Uh, all the swales, swales have filled up. The rainwater tanks are two thirds full. The little pond is completely full. And you can see all the differences made to the swales. They caught a huge amount of water. This is swale four, look at this. To put this into perspective guys I've added very rough measurements to give you an idea of scale here. It's about 80 meters by 5 to 6 meters say by about half a meter deep at the swale itself. Reducing these figures to give a better average I would say 80 by 4 meters by 30 centimeters gives a total of 96,000 liters just short of a hundred thousand liters of water saved and now working its way into the land after just one very heavy rainfall and this is just one swale of four we've added to the land. As you can see guys, Swale 2 has no water in it at this stage. I'm not really fussed by that though, because if Swale 1 were to overflow, then Swale 2 will catch that water. So guys, we have two problem areas on the farmstead. The first you can see here when we, where we've added many tons of new topsoil recently, and I'll add a card link to that video. But we have some pretty serious soil erosion. I believe this is caused by water soaking into the ground from swale three, and then because of the large tree directly behind it, its roots provide nice channels for water to soak through the ground faster than normal. Fortunately, swale four stops both the water and the soil runoff dead in its tracks. In order to improve this situation, I'll be adding one or two very small check dams to slow the water down at the source and spread it out over a larger area. The second issue we have is the filtered groundwater inlet pipe for the small pond. Water builds up against the mini swale we've, we have built for the pipe feeding the small pond, but it's not large enough to cope with the water volume and the swale overflows. 
I think ideally we will have to add another pipe at this point into the pond. We also have a video of myself building a gravel trap for this pipe inlet and I'll also add a link to that video here. So in our experience swales are by far the best water catchment method that is available. They are relatively easy to set up and can literally catch millions of litres and drive it into your land regenerating groundwater sources. If you use swales yourselves I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I hope you found this video useful. Take care guys.